My name is Father Rob Hagen, Senior Associate Athletics Director, Villanova University, and I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Michael Duncan, Villanova University Athletics Team Physician. And this is Walking with the Wildcats. So Dr. Duncan, I feel like on behalf of the whole Nova Nation, I want to say thank you because, you know, I don't know what they teach you in medical school, but it, aside from ACLs and broken bones, do they teach you how to oversee a department during a pandemic? No, I, I, can, I can tell you that uh, it's nothing that we any of us had planned for, uh, especially as a sports medicine physician. It's, uh, it's not a course you learn in medical school, it's just something you have to learn to uh, adapt and learn on the fly. And I luckily I had a great team here to work with over in the health center that we we're all in the same position and all trying to do the best we can. What would you say has been the biggest challenge so far? I think really uh, the biggest challenge is just trying to do things the right way and making sure that we, we keep our kids safe and um, you know, make sure that they understand that that Caritas commitment is really uh, the cornerstone of how this uh, semester really was able to stay in-person learning. I mean, without the, the student athletes and students really committing to that uh, commitment, it would have made our job a lot harder. So Father Rob, you know, um, you've been here for, for a little bit longer than I have and you've had uh, multiple roles here at Villanova. So tell me a little bit about how uh, has your life as a spiritual leader been affected um, with, with the current pandemic? The pandemic, unlike anything else that any of us have ever dealt with, especially as, as teachers and, and counselors, is often you encounter people at different times who are struggling with different things. The pandemic has universal, uh, universally affected everyone. I don't know, none of us know anyone who hasn't been touched by this in some way experience some loss, some breakdown, some feeling of, of anxiety across the board. And so what you have is a lot of people struggling at the same time. And uh, that's been a challenge, but also an opportunity to um, have many conversations. I laugh when they made the fin, you know, they had those stone benches out there and it almost looked like a little, you know, I wasn't sure what that was, you know, in the beginning. <laughs> And as we've gotten into this, it's really become almost like a little satellite office for me. Uh, you can meet safely out there. It's open air. We had a wonderful fall with the weather. Yeah. And it was just a great opportunity to uh, really meet students and, and others who were you know, often just looking for an opportunity for someone to listen. Yeah. You know, maybe uh, uh, you know, they're juggling multiple responsibilities, uh, people working at home. Uh, juggling their kids, uh, trying not to infect, you know, older family members, and then just that sense of, you know, is everything going to be okay? Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure a lot of our Villanova basketball fans could name the starting lineup of the men's and women's team, but you got to be right there in the starting lineup because I know you're helping both the men's and the women's team be able to compete right now. Yeah. What's that been like? So that's been interesting, you know, it's been a lot of um, being able to adapt on the fly, you know, whether it's uh, testing, um, you know, starting it just in the summer with uh, the social distancing and the mask and, and practicing in small groups of pods just to make sure that they can get to the start of the season. And then once the testing protocols uh, fell into place, we just have to get the staffing and uh, the testing procedures in place to test them on a regular basis and then be willing to adapt and change when schedules change because uh, games will be canceled um, and we'll have to make sure it's a lot of communication with other physicians both in the conference and in the area for uh, a game's going to be scheduled in the last minute to make sure that they abide by the same protocols that we do. As far as um, your role as an athletic director here at Villanova, um, how have you had to change the way you uh, operate in order to accommodate the needs of student athletes here on campus? Well, as you well know, in athletics, so much of our focus is based on the competition, right? Preparing for and training for competition for games. And with no games and no competition, a lot of people are kind of searching for their purpose. Mm -hmm. They're not able to do what they're so accustomed to be able to do. Yeah. And so, you know, as Mark Jackson often points out, that we're still competing. You know, we're still competing for team unity. We're still competing for good m mental uh, and, and psychological well-being. You know, there's a lot of work to be done, but our focus has shifted because the games and the contests were where, where we all came together. And now we have to look for other ways to still engage and come together and remind people that we're, we're not in it alone. And so hopefully we'll be back on this court soon when, when there are contests being played 
But in the meantime, how do we stay focused and together when we're not playing? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's definitely been a, a key part of trying to keep some sense of normalcy here on campus. How do you feel um, with the holidays coming up? How is your life going to change as, uh, in terms of mass and the way uh, you see church going forward over the next few weeks, given the way uh, the situation is right now? You can't blame anybody who is reluctant to participate in a, a large gathering. And, you know, they really, we really shouldn't. And so, and I spent the whole fall um, uh, postponing weddings, um, delaying funerals. Uh, for those services that we did have, so many people that would normally have been invited weren't there, and they were often just immediate family. And so now here we come upon the holidays, which is such a great opportunity for everyone to be together, and we're just not there yet. And so while people are going to uh, religious services and we found a way to kind of socially distance and try to do that in a safe way, it really has unearthed this incredible power of technology. And so s services are being live streamed. Um, there's been, you know, Zoom masses, uh, opportunities for people to pray and come together online, which in a lot of ways, I think will continue long after we get through this storm. Yeah, I agree. I think there's some parts of this pandemic that are here to stay. It probably made things a little bit better. I'd like to think of the positive things. Do you see um, your holidays being any different? I know you spend a lot of time with, with your mother and your sister and family. Um, on a, do you think there's going to be anything different that you guys will be doing this holiday season? Much like everybody else, we're going to really cut down on the guest list, you know. We've had the added challenge in my family as my mom is older. She, she, uh, my, my sister who, who she lives with is an ICU nurse down at Presbyterian Hospital in Pennsylvania. So it's that dance that a lot of us are doing is you want to be with your loved ones, but you don't want to expose them to anything yeah. that's harmful. But that said, we, you know, we'll, we'll be together. I'm going to, I'm going to zoom a Christmas Eve mass, you know, out right. to a lot of people that uh, we would normally celebrate with. Yeah. And, and just kind of make the best of it and trust that as we turn the page into 2021, there's better days ahead. I mean, that's really what the holidays are all about, you know, kind of light in the darkness and, and hope for everyone and, and understanding that um, when we stick together and keep the faith, you know, we can get through anything. Well, Dr. Duncan, thank you again for sharing your insights with us and for all the work that you've done to help us through this challenging time. Thank you for having me. And once again, my name is Father Rob Hagen, and it's been a joy to be with you. Nova Nation, thank you for joining us on Walking with the Wildcats.